Welcome back to the 30-Day Low-Fat Vegan Weight Loss Challenge. Today is day 24. If you're new here, follow the playlist in the description box to catch up on all the daily videos and start your own 30-day challenge. I'm an all-or-nothing person, so a few years ago, when I started watching Dr. McDougall's, Chef AJ's, and Dr. Doug Lyle's YouTube videos explaining how eating according to calorie density enables you to lose weight eating as much as you want to, I went all in. I literally just started even without having a bunch of recipes to follow. I learned the basics and just cut out all oils and overt fats. I kept it really simple and just followed this one rule. If something was low calorie density, meaning under 700 calories per pound, and plant-based, I could eat as much of it as I wanted to until I was full. So I ate large portions, and I mean large. Whenever my family would visit, they couldn't believe I would be able to eat that much, but I can and did, and I still do. I like to feel very full after my meals, so this way of eating just works for me. I'll often make extra food just in case I want a second portion. But these meals are so diluted in their calories per bite that you almost need to eat large portions. And during that time, which was the initial weight loss phase, the highest calorie density food I was eating was beans. Everything else, the rice, oatmeal, potatoes, fruits, and vegetables are all less than 600 calories per pound. I didn't have tofu or avocado during that time, but I do eat them now. I'm going to give you an idea of exactly the type of meals I would eat on repeat. A typical day would be, well, actually, I'm going to put all of them together for you on one page, which you can screenshot at the end of this video if that's helpful. But I'll talk you through it now. So breakfast would be old-fashioned oatmeal with unsweetened soy milk, frozen blueberries, cinnamon, and stevia. I used stevia for quite a while as a sugar substitute and then eventually stopped that. Lunch was no oil fries baked in the oven. I now have an air fryer, but I didn't at the time, so I just used my oven. I usually would use two to three large potatoes cut into thin fries, or sometimes I'd slice them and make crackers out of them. I would either use an entire can of chickpeas or an entire can of black beans and make a dip by blending them together, adding in a large handful of spinach, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, a bit of water, and salt. While I was losing weight, I was still adding salt or soy sauce to most of my lunches and dinners. A high sodium diet is not healthy, but if you have to add a bit of salt in order to get yourself to eat the vegetables, that's fine. Just slowly reduce the amount over time. For dinner, I would make the sweet potato black bean chili with rice a lot of the time. You may have seen that meal in some of my videos. I have made it so many times, I, I've lost count. And I do have a video with the recipe from a few years ago. I'll link it in the description box of this video if you want to give it a try. Or I'd have baked sweet potato, broccoli, and half a can of black beans warmed up. I also usually either had a smoothie with two or three frozen bananas, water, unsweetened soy milk, cinnamon, and sometimes another fruit like strawberries or pineapple. Or I'd make a nice cream with frozen bananas. And I snacked on fruit like grapes and mandarin oranges often, and I did not limit my intake of fruit at all. Now, by no means was this the only food I ate on repeat every single day, but this is just what a typical day would have looked like during that weight loss phase. And I also shared a tip from Dr. Doug Lyle in my last video, who I have learned so much from. If you haven't watched his webinars with Chef AJ, I highly recommend them. Um, and I have another one that I want to share with you today. He often talks about getting into a deep groove with this way of eating. And that's exactly what it felt like when I was losing weight, a deep groove. It might be a bit tricky at first or feel like you're putting in a lot of effort to, into your meals, but once you get the hang of it and you know what you're eating without having to put much thought into it, you're just in the flow of it day after day. And before you know it, months have gone by and you've lost a significant noticeable amount of weight. So if you feel like you're having to spend so much time on your meal prepping and figuring out what to eat, 
maybe you need to simplify things a little more to enable you to get into that deep groove easier. Something as easy as baked potatoes, broccoli, and half a can of beans, as I mentioned, warmed up, is filling and you can drizzle some ketchup over it and it tastes really good. And it's kind of the perfect, easy type of weight loss meal that will get you results. So this is your daily reminder to keep it simple.